Hi and welcome to U.S. History. My name is Ahmed Abu Rashid and I will be your U.S. History teacher for the upcoming academic year. I come from an interdisciplinary background in business and the humanities and I look forward to seeing and working with you all. In this video, we will discuss what you can expect out of the course throughout the year, what topics we'll be covering and how your work will be assessed. So let's begin by taking a look at the course overview. So we will be moving in linear or chronological fashion to track the development of the American people and their government by examining their politics, their economy throughout, the, throughout time, social and cultural events that affected the rise and the growth of the nation that it is today as well. So let's dig into some of the topics that we will be covering. We begin with the American Revolution. So the American Revolution, a defining moment in history, stemmed from multiple factors. Colonial discontent with British policies, including taxation without representation, trade restrictions, and the Quartering Act led to growing resentment. The Stamp Act of 1765 and the Boston Tea Party further fueled tensions. These grievances culminated in the Declaration of Independence in 1776, asserting the colony's right to self-governance and the marking the birth of the United States. So the newfound independence in topic two presented the challenge of creating a stable government. The Articles of Confederation initially served as a framework, but they proved ineffective in governing the nation. This led to the Constitutional Convention of 1787, where the U.S. Constitution was drafted. This document established a federal system balancing powers between the national and state governments and incorporating checks and balances to prevent the concentration of power. Topic three, the early years of the Republic were marked by debates between Federalists and Anti-Federalists. The Bill of Rights was added to the Constitution, guaranteeing individual freedoms. The expansion of the nation westward, facilitated by both the Louisiana Purchase, brought both opportunities and challenges. Figures like George Washington and Thomas Jefferson played instrumental roles in shaping the nation's direction and defining the principles of democracy. So topic four, reshaping America in the early 1800s. So the early 1800s witnessed uh, significant changes. The Louisiana Purchase of 1803 from France doubled the nation's size and paved the way for westward expansion. Industrialization gained momentum, transforming the economy and the society as well. The quote-unquote era of good feelings under President James Monroe was characterized by a sense of national unity and territorial expansions, even as debates over slavery intensified, of course. So the issue of slavery became increasingly contentious, and we will take a look at it in Topic 5, with deep divisions between the North and the South. The Missouri Compromise, the Compromise of 1850, and the Kansas-Nebraska Act attempted to address these tensions, but they ultimately failed to prevent conflict. The election of Abraham Lincoln in 1860 triggered the Southern Secession and the Civil War. The war's devastating impact eventually led to the Emancipation Proclamation and the abolition or end of slavery. Topic 6, Reconstruction. So following the Civil War, the nation faced the immense challenge of Reconstruction. Efforts were made to rebuild the South and ensure the rights of, new of newly freed slaves. The Reconstruction Amendments, the 13th, 14th, and 15th, sought to, to abolish slavery, grant citizenship, and secure voting rights for African Americans. However, Reconstruction faced resistance from Southern states yet again, and the process was complicated by political maneuvering and compromises. Topic seven, rebuilding the nation. So the late 1800s brought about rapid industrialization, urbanization, and technological advantage, advancements. While these changes fueled economic growth, they also led to social inequalities and labor struggles. The progressive movement emerged in response, advo advocating for government intervention to address issues such as 
worker rights, consumer protection, and environmental conservation. Theodore, uh, Theodore Roosevelt's presidency saw significant reforms, including the creation of national parks and the regulation of monopolies. Challenges in the 1800s were presented as well. So there was economic instability and the rise of corporate monopolies. The progressives, again, aimed to address these issues, focusing on social justice, political reform, and economic regulations. Figures like Jane Addams and Ida B. Wells worked towards women's suffrage and racial equality, while the 19th Amendment finally granted women the right to vote in 1920. Moving on into the 20th century, we will, uh, th this period marked America's emergence as a global power. The country played a pivotal, pivotal role in World War I, shifting from a policy of isolationism to international involvement. The war's aftermath saw changes in women's roles. It saw technological advances uh, and cultural shifts. The 1920s, known as the Roaring Twenties, saw prosperity, urbanization, and the spread of consumer culture, as well as the enactment of the Prohibition. World War I had far-reaching effects on world stage. America's participation and contributions played a significant role in shaping the post-war order. The 1920s brought cultural changes, including the Jazz Age, women's liberation, and the Harlem Renaissance. However, the decade also witnessed economic disparities, such as uh, the Wall Street crash of 1929, which marked the beginning of the Great Depression. So in this, in this video, we've explored pivotal moments in American history, from the seeds of revolution to the challenges and trumps that shaped the nation's growth and evolution. Each era contributed to the complex tapestry of the United States, leaving a lasting impact that, continue to, that continues to shape its course to this day. So before we end, I would like to show you a slide of the assessment policy. So each semester or term is split into two parts called assessment one and assessment two. Uh, each assessment is made up of 35 percentage points, or 70% in total. Now, A1, as it's known, uh, is a test-based type of assessment, while assessment 2 is a project-based type of assessment. At the end of each semester, we will have an exam, a midterm, and a final, and that will make up 30% of the remaining grade. So, uh, Students are expected to follow up on current events, to do their homework and classwork, to present and take initiative in short oral presentations, and to work in teams uh, and as individuals. The methods will vary, the projects will vary, but it will be a good comprehensive experience. So as for student behavior and in-class policies, so of course, plagiarism is strictly prohibited, yeah, acting disrespectfully towards your towards your classmates or your teachers is also prohibited and you are expected to encourage and promote and contain a good order inside the class for everyone to learn so this is the end of this video i want to thank you for holding on to this point and i look forward to a productive and fruitful year thank you